comic book TV series of the year. Now, I thought I knew 100% what this was going to be going for like this entire year once I watched it to, oh, here comes November and here comes Watchmen. And then I mm-hmm. saw Watchmen mm-hmm. and the boys had to get bumped in favor of Watchmen. See, I was going to ask you, what was your second one? Because I think Watchmen's the obvious answer here. Yeah, well, Watchmen's uh, What, what was one. the one that would have been before? So it was the boys for you. D- definitely the boys. Yeah. Um, uh, Shay, what was yours? Uh, probably, de- I definitely loved The Boys, um, but I also really loved the last season of Runaways. Oh, so um, good. Especially because they did something I didn't think they would be able to do. In such short notice, they were able to actually wrap it up. Yeah. Um, but I, I absolutely loved The Boys, and I loved Watchmen. Like, Watchmen just... I don't understand how they did that. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, mine was going to be Umbrella Academy until Watchmen came out. Haven't oh, watched it. Yeah, I haven't Have watched you, it. Oh, it's so good. It, oh, fantastic series. I mean, came completely from nowhere. It's just like, yep, that's the one. Yeah, I, I've heard good things about it. We're going to watch it um, because it's on our list, so we'll get to it eventually. And I don't know, like, I, I think it's been a very strong year for comic book TV shows. Like, yep, we, well, yep definitely. We, we had the ending of... um. Punisher, which I thought yep. was great. They actually come wrap it up in a good was way. Was that this year? Yeah. Yeah. We I also thought it was December had, last. Um, season two of The Chilling Tales of Sabrina. Um, the Boys. Oh, I, I thought that dropped the ball, that series. We didn't um, watch season two yet. We'll get, say, um, you can kind of. Uh, we had see. Krypton season two. We have the brand new DC original of Harley Quinn. Oh, Doom Patrol. Um, I'll Doom say Doom Patrol. Patrol. Doom Patrol was my second before. Um... Yeah, Doom Patrol was high on the list, but the boys and like everything else. The and, Gifted. I do want to... I do. Wanna... I, do I was going to say the, the Gifted pause. Just yeah. like, okay. <laughs> I do want to give a shout out though to um the CW for massively improving Arrow. Yes. Um, If you guys are members of the channel, you know, we do it for the first tier there. We've been reviewing Arrow. And I quit out on that show on season three because it got god awful. Never watched it until now. Like, they really found their footing in the new season, the last season. is really just heads and shoulders like above anything the CW does. Which, you know, depending on your take on the CW, you could take that as a, you know, oh, okay, whatever. But it is a good show. You know, it's not in my, obviously, top. But I, well, the reason I think we all agree with Watchmen is, for one... The moment I heard Damon Lindelof was on this, I wrote the show yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, like everybody same. did. Like it's like, dude, it's Lindelof. All he does is build up mystery, aka Prometheus. Then he just leaves it hanging and no satisfying ending. Mm-hmm. This is the most anti-Lindelof show I have ever <laughs> witnessed in my life. Like, and not only that, he manages to so- like tie social commentary and make Watchmen relevant today. Just like the Watchmen comic was relevant mm. back in the day, I guess. Like he uses like legit actual American history, yeah, to make and, that and make that relevant today. Then it's like, what's wow. really scary is the fact that thanks to him talking about the Tulsa massacre, they actually went back and rediscovered how bad yeah, that like, it actually yeah. was. We're not going to go into all that here, but if you guys want to look up the actual history of what was said and what the Watchmen series caused to happen and what they've discovered because of it. It truly is a show that's actually changed America. And that's that's kind of crazy. Like, it's this comic book show that now there's going to be, like, a giant History Channel documentary on the cause and effect of it and what they discovered with the story they present in the first episode. Like, mm. that, that doesn't happen a lot. And then the fact that, you know, they pitched it as, oh, well, it's just set after him. We don't know what you're going to do, but we know you all expect Ozzy in this. But... Manhattan shows up and oh my God. there's ties to everything and they wrap every everything. person's story up like in one a, way or another mm-hmm. and they talk about every single character so and they even go back and they go to the Minutemen um, yeah. before the Watchmen and it's just everything about the show like every time the credits would roll we're like no no keep going like no mm-hmm. uh, it, it was just a show that continuously had us at the edge of our seats, talking about it for days on end afterward, um, trying to figure out where it was going, and then come to find out, like, we were totally wrong about certain things. And then you go back and you 
try remembering some of the episodes and you're like, wait, they actually told us the entire ending yeah. in the first two episodes. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's crazy. unreal how Ugh. good that show is. You know, like, I can't praise it enough and I think it almost like it's one of those shows where i want more of this world but i don't want it to get renewed because yeah. it's so good like i was gonna say me and sean were talking about this and it's a case of i we'd be happy with having a second season as long as the idea is there but at the same time it's like do we really want one exactly uh, yep. like there's there's so many places you can take it with that ending oh yeah but don't need to so uh. and i mean the fact that damon window off was able to write this show be a producer on it and they put it out in less time than it took for Jeff Johns to complete Doomsday Clock is something that is amazing. <laughs> that is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hats off to them for that show. HBO absolutely knocked it out of the park. Um, And I'd be willing to say, as, as it comes down to like one of the best shows of the last decade, I think Watchmen would be in the top five with ease. Oh, like yeah. it's, it's just, it's top notch. If you haven't seen it, you need to go watch the show. It's, it's worthy of attention. So, uh, mm. yeah, that's uh, unanimous again on best show of... Uh...